All right, Dwayne Wade. Dwayne wow. Wade. Uh, Dwayne Wade recently joined Shannon Sharp on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay Show, and Shannon Sharp put Dwayne Wade. On the hot seat, and <laughs> Shannon Sharp. <laughs> Shannon Sharp asked Dwayne Wade, "What was harder, telling Gabrielle that you got a side chick pregnant or losing in the NBA Finals?" So, uh, let's let Dwayne Wade answer that question, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, no, I ain't gonna. I'll say it afterwards. No spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> no spoilers. Oh, gosh. All right, so here is Dwayne Wade answering Shannon Sharp's question. What was harder, telling your wife that you got a side chick pregnant or losing in the finals? <laughs> wow. There was some infidelity in the relationship or there's something that transpired. Was it harder for you to sit down and have a conversation and to tell her that something had happened outside of the relationship or losing the finals? way harder to have a conversation with my now wife right um who wasn't at the time but my now wife about it like you try to think of everything possible because you think about what you're going to say and you're also thinking about how she's going to react yeah i mean you're thinking about it all right. it's all scary one the whole situation is is scary enough right um, you're a public figure that's right scary yeah enough. yeah yeah but you You've heard, you know that this is going to hurt. You know it's going to hurt. You know it's going to hurt. That you've been building a, a relationship with and a life with. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And no matter what people say on the outside or what people want to think, this and that, like ultimately, like you got to sit with you and you got to sit with this person if this is who you're going to be with. Right. And I had to, I had to sit with my wife about this. Well, my now wife about this um, and had this conversation. You told her before it came became public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Because I, I, I don't know, D-Wade, if she'd have stuck with you that thing to come public and you didn't have the conversation with her. Man, listen, let me tell you, I couldn't I couldn't have gotten to that Shannon, nasty, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, it, it was a, we were in the playoffs, I think even in going into the finals, that whatever year mm -hmm. that was. Man, that was that was a rough time for me, bro. So you got a lot on your mind. You got a lot on your mind. You, you're keeping, you know, you're keeping something from people you love. Right. And it's heavy. It, you, it, at night, when it get quiet, yeah. it uses you and your thoughts. yeah. Them thoughts is loud, and you and it gets it gets loud up here in, right. in his mind, and so it came to a point. All right, that's enough. Um, so, <laughs> oh wow! Oh yeah, so yeah, it, you know, according to him, that was a very difficult time, and he really, really, it was obviously easier to lose in the finals than to come to his person and let her know that this was going on. So. What did you make of those comments on Club Shay Shay by D Wade there? Man, oh man, There's so many, so much, honestly, just a lot of thoughts. But I would say that first thing is you do not have to answer every question that you're asked. <laughs> All right, that was not a live stream. Um, I would have said next question and kept it pushing. <laughs> um Cause like, I get what he, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if he got caught off guard. It seemed like he did because I mean, he was just word salading after you cut it off. Like you, you cut it off at a good point. Cause it was yeah. just word salad after that. He ain't know what, he, he ain't know what angle he was trying to get at with that. But I guess him trying to be holier than now, this image that he has now of him just being some guru, uh, just, you know, just spiritually enlightened and just knows all the right ways to handle things and speaking in that tone. He's trying to, it seems as though he's trying to teach us a lesson through his lesson, which is commendable. I, I hear that. But at the same time, I would not have answered this question. Uh, first mm -hmm. of all, uh, second of all, uh, Shannon Sharp, as I mentioned, is messy as hell for asking this question and just egging it on, uh, you know, with a little smirk on his face. Like, yeah, I got some juice. I got some tea here. This is a clip. All right. And yes, I don't say T. Shannon says T. Shay Shay says T. All right. So <laughs> don't come at me. Another thing is with all of these podcasts, not here at the conscious approach. See, we don't ask those questions here. But of those other podcasts, they ask all of those ridiculous questions. And this is coming from your peers at this point. 
This is no longer coming from reporters. I'm taking a whole nother angle. I'll get to the infidelity thing. But my concern here was more or less the question being asked and who's asking the question. But these guys now who have these podcasts and stuff like that, they're no better than the media that they used to scrutinize in the 90s when they were coming up, who were looking mm-hmm. for a hot take, asking these trap ass questions for for um, a, a, a billboard material, or bulletin board material for the next team and, and all this other stuff, digging through scandals, asking them questions about infidelity. On it. Why? And all these athletes, hey, man, get out of our business, man. Let me do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Me and my old lady, we still together. You know what I'm saying? Kit rocks. But nowadays, these athletes, rappers, and anybody else who are content creators now are playing this same, let me push the button card, let me ask the juicy-ass question, let me compromise my own guests. People that you sitting there dapping up, oh, yeah, man, you the best in the game, and then asking them a compromising question and to see if they're going to jump on it. I know one person that does that a lot is Mav Hoffa. Can't stand it. And, and so when Mav Hoffa being there with his little, bar- uh, his little barbershop thing, and he's sitting there asking them, he's asking questions for the clips. And he's no different than DJ Vlad. So it's like, bro, how are you How are you sitting here with your contemporaries, with your peers, asking them these trap-ass questions that you wouldn't even answer your damn self? Not a fan of none of that. So, Shay Shay, disappointed, sir. And, and D-Wade, <laughs> even more disappointed that you fell for the bait. I'll get into, you know, the infidelity stuff if it comes <laughs> up later on. But I just had to get that off my chest. My, my main thing was, too much information, D Wade. Uh, tis, 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 Shannon Sharp for being a media pundit and asking such a, a a question that could put this guy in a bad light, but which, which is kind of difficult as it is. He's already in a bad light. But how do you feel about this, man? How, how do you feel about uh D Wade, Shannon Sharp, uh, divulging some uh, personal information here? If it was anybody, if it was not Dwayne Wade, if it was, uh, if he was interviewing somebody like, I don't know, I don't know, Allen Iverson or, um, you know, obviously the late, great, you know, Kobe Bryant or somebody like this. If he was interviewing somebody like that, I would have to believe that Shannon Sharp, before they recorded that, said, can I ask you this? And they would have therefore had they would have had to given him permission before he just goes and asks that. But because it's Dwayne Wade, I don't even know. For all I know, Dwayne Wade is just this open book guy and doesn't care what you ask him. And so he didn't even have a list of questions that are sort of restricted. He just probably told Shannon Sharp, hey, man, go for it. Ask whatever you want. I'm an open book. I'm D-Wade, <laughs> media guy, you know, game show host, you right. know. And um, yeah, and so man. Shannon Sharp went in. And so I'm not really going to get – I'm not going to go in on Shannon because Shannon's responsibility is to himself and his platform, asking salacious questions, unfortunately – Unfortunately, because we live in a clickbait society, I'm not defending him per se. I'm just saying this is the state of the world we live in. I got, I got, you, I got. You. The world we live. We live in a clickbaity society where people literally thrive off of salacious content. Not to get too chan, not to get, not to get too ch- tangential, but there was a study done in which you know there was a psychological survey that was conducted. And, you know, I won't get into the minutia of the, of, the, of the study, but it was basically discovered that people relish in and consume negative content because doing so gives them a dopamine rush in the brain that releases pleasurable feelings, similar to when you shoot heroin or take other hard drugs. So there's actually... Uh, there's actually like a, a, a sort of physiological reason as to why human nature is such that we crave negativity. Now, I try to stay above the fray. I try to not crave it, but there's a reason why we like that stuff. So I bring that up to say Shannon Sharp runs a platform. His responsibility is to himself and his platform. The internet and content like this runs on salaciousness because people, for whatever reason, thrive negativity and salacious content. It happened to be a perfect situation because Dwayne Wade is this new age open book guy who doesn't care and doesn't mind if you ask him whatever. 
So I would not be shocked at I would not be shocked one bit if they did not discuss that beforehand, or rather they did, and Dwayne Wade said, I don't care what you ask me, ask me anything. I wouldn't uh, that's probably I what happened. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked. Dwayne Wade probably does not care. And if Dwayne Wade does not care, then at that point it's like, all right, Shannon, we'll ask whatever. The man just gave you permission. And so, you know, and then, you know, this alternative, like Dwayne Wade and that family right. is one step removed from Will Smith and his family. Exactly. In, in terms of alternative <laughs> means of raising children and rearing families and sensibilities, they're not that far off. Right. And so a lot of these different weirdo things that, you know, these people in Hollywood are embracing, Dwayne Wade is not that far off. And so I'm not shocked that this was, I'm just not shocked that this was asked. I, I really <laughs> am not. <laughs> I'm not. So, uh, you know, well. the last thing that I'll say with this is, is this, uh, there's good news for people like Dwayne Wade and other men in his position who are burdened with this, you know, uh, unbearable amount of guilt whenever they have their side pieces and God forbid get them pregnant and now you have to face the music when you go back to your wife or your significant other. And you've mentioned this on this channel before and so I'll simply reiterate. Um, <laughs> these days it is becoming more and more clear to me that there is a sizable amount of women who might say they care about you stepping out on them but in actuality, they really don't. Um, depending on who you are and whether you're perceived to be high value or not, once again, high value in terms of earnings, not high value in terms of actual character. We are strictly talking high value in terms of earnings. If you are a man that a large amount of these women perceive to be of high value, getting a side chick pregnant or even a, having a side chick in general really isn't the end of the world. It's not the end all to be all. They will look past it. So because they'll look past it, because of who you are and what you can provide for them, there's no need to feel bad about it. There's no need to have any guilt because they're going to let it slide because of what you do in terms of being able to enhance their livelihood. Now, I can hear the comments now. That ain't all <laughs> women, JV wins. I can hear it now. That's not all women, JV wins. Well, JV wins. I'm not like that. My friends ain't like that. Listen, ma'am, this is not all women. This is just a lot of women. Yeah, this is a just a growing. Women. This is just a growing, sizable percentage of women, particularly women who fancy themselves wanting to date athletes and entertainers. And for all y'all women out there who are gonna say that ain't me or none of my friends, y'all know y'all know at least two or three women who are like this. So you know I'm speaking facts. So there really is no need for Dwayne Wade, if he ever gets caught up in another side piece scandal, to feel bad about going to face his wife with this news because chances are the relationship will be able to withstand it. And to any of these other dudes out here doing the same self-destructive stuff, have no fret, my pet. These women don't <laughs> care. They'll look past it. They'll pay lip service to the idea that they truly care about it. But at the end of the day, are they really going to go anywhere? No. Now, to the ones who are really about their business, to the ones who really have respect for themselves, the real women in the world who are professionals, who don't believe that they have to tether their coat, tether themselves to the coattails of another successful guy, these women who are cleat chasers, these women who want to date ballers and athletes and entertainers, okay? To those women out there who don't ascribe to this, yeah, you'll be able to walk out. And he should be afraid to face the music with you. But these dudes ain't getting with women like that. They're getting with the women who don't care. So that's the good news for a lot of you high value guys out here. Because all y'all doing is dating porn chicks, OnlyFan chicks, Instagram models. Anyway, that's all y'all are doing. And these women don't give a damn whether you cheat on them or get another girl pregnant or not. They don't care. They're not prioritizing that. They're just prioritizing the bag. Okay? So don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. Keep doing what you're doing, high value guy, because they ain't going nowhere. Yep, I agree with that. And I, I was basically going to just say that uh, the same thing you said when it comes to, you know, they're, they're just a step away from Will and Jada, honestly. Uh, honestly they, 
and in so many and in in many respects they've already surpassed them on the <laughs> on the weirdo bar. So we had a discussion before about about them, and my take was don't listen to them. I think that's when they was doing a little 50-50 thing and how she runs that. Don't listen to right. these people. Yeah. Yeah. Don't li- they're not following traditional roles at all. So just because Wade was a Hall of Famer, one of our favorite basketball players, that does not correlate into real life tangible things. Much like I spoke about in the last topic with Steven Jackson, Wade was good at a game. This is a different game that we call life over here. <laughs> and these there's certain rules and restrictions, you know, that you have to abide by in order to win championships over here. And one thing that I would argue is that Wade is just flying by the seat of his pants, just doing anything, being a real free spirit over here in life where it requires some structure and some organization. You know, and I was telling a friend of mine uh, about uh, this book called uh, The Kabbalion. I think it's how you pronounce it. And it's the um, it's the seven laws of the universe or whatever. Everybody likes to talk about the law of attraction, but they don't want to. They 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 don't know about reciprocity, uh, rhythm, uh, you know, and the other ones. And you know, they all work in concert. Mm-hmm. So when you're t- when you're dealing with life, life has a set amount of rules, and it's an algorithm to do life successfully. And a lot of that is contingent upon having a strong family system, morals, and, and things like that. Men abiding by their roles, women abiding by their roles. You know, that's part of the rhythm and the reciprocity stuff. But when we have just freelance doing anything with no guidance, you know, social anarchy. When you when you have that, this may work for this group of people. But when you just tell people to go do whatever, most likely the overwhelming majority are going to do that whatever wrong. So that's why there's laws in the universe. And that's why you have to follow certain laws, in my opinion. And so so when Wade gets on his high horse and he wants to tell other men on how to conduct themselves in the world, uh, be mindful of who you're listening to. All right. He's not telling you how to shoot a jumper. He's telling you about marriage. All right. If he was telling me how to shoot a jumper, how to do a finger roll. All right. I'm, I'm all ears. Do not tell me how to court my wife. Talk to my wife. Raise my kids. I don't want to hear how brave you are, bro. All right? Because honestly, you got so brave into a goddamn TV show. All right? Mm-hmm. So I don't want to hear about you being brave. or And you got brave into a co-owner or co-whatever, co-something of the jazz. So he's, he's, he's playing that game. All right? So if y'all want to listen to Wade, okay, fine. All right. But when it comes to life and all this other stuff, romance, relationships, raising kids. Sorry, D. Wade. I have you on mute. All right. And and um, back to Shay Sharp. Boy, you miss. I hear what you're saying, man. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. You know, content is king and people love a mess. All right. But it's some people who relish and rolling around in that. Man, I, think Shay, yeah. I think Shannon enjoyed too much of this right here. That's Maybe like. he did. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe he did, was, but Shannon was like, I'm sitting directly across from this new human dude who doesn't care what I ask him. <laughs> and at that point, you can lay the hammer down. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I, I, I hope that everyone who listened to my little diatribe there, especially women who might listen to it, can, you know, sense the cynicism with which I was given that analysis because even though I'm serious, that is also an you know my 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 you know soliloquy there to use a Stephen A. Smith word uh-huh. was was simultaneously um, a uh, cynical take as well as a realistic one uh, because yeah uh, there are you know a lot, a lot of aspects of these relationships today are so. They, they use the word progressive um, <laughs> to try and justify their existence. Um, I choose to use the word uh, dysfunctional and toxic and, and ridiculous, weird even. But things like polyamorous relationships and all of this kind of stuff, this new stuff that people are doing to justify their opportunity or ability to do whatever they want but still claim to be a part of a relationship, none of that stuff is functional. 
None of that stuff is functional. But you got a lot of these chicks out here who do not care. They'll marry Dwayne Wade or any other NBA player, NFL player, uh, whomever, whatever entertainer, rapper, you know, all of these, you know, guys lacking in self-respect themselves but are easy marks for these women. They'll, they'll marry them with fully anticipating that there will be a side chick or two or three along the way and a good chance that one of them might get pregnant. They don't care. They understand this and they know this. And for a lot of y'all women out here who want to band together and unite because you feel as though the fairer sex is indeed the strongest and the smartest, y'all need to consult a lot of these other women out here who, who live this way. Uh, because they are the reason why I am able to so comfortably speak this way on this channel, <laughs> and they are the and they are the reason why people like Dwayne Wade, not Dwayne Wade himself, but other NBA players, will continue to do the same thing. Uh, there's going to be more side pieces, side chicks getting pregnant, you know, you know, uh, side chicks who become the main chick. Meanwhile, the wife is now the side chick, and all this other random weirdo stuff. And y'all chicks stay, y'all stay. So who's the fool, Dwayne Wade, or who's the fool, the man? Or who really is the fool in this equation, right? The, I mean, who really is it, the man or the woman? Uh, so um, take that up your pipe and smoke it, and I hope a lot of y'all enjoy as you continue to uh, make your content and grow your Instagrams hmm. and your OnlyFans subscriptions. Hmm. Hysterical. Get out of here, dude. Shouts out to Santa Sharp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to Shay Shay. Club Shay Shay. Club Shay Shay. Where, where they always do something before two something. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> Shit sounds sketchy to me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>